What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and we're starting today's video in the airport because we are headed to Canada today. I don't normally record on traveling days, but I thought why not? Maybe it'd be like a little bit of cool of a little bit of a cool experience and right now we're in San Francisco International. There was a bigger cluster here, but we do have some shiny checks to start off the adventure and then we're gonna start traveling. We'll, we'll arrive there around three o'clock in the afternoon, so definitely not too late and we can definitely still get a little bit of an adventure in. No idea what the plan is for today. We honestly don't don't have a lot planned for this trip at all we have to do uh, we have our safari zone to do of course but other than that not a lot going on so we're gonna have to fill in the days with some stuff but I'm really really excited gotta love going to a new country and visiting new areas Pat Trad, please not a shiny okay if you guys are from the uh, Canada area or if you guys are from Montreal I've been there before and you guys have any suggestions for me and Brandon and the squad make sure to let me know in the comments down below any food suggestions any sightseeing any activities let me know we'll probably get some evolutions done at some point which would be nice definitely want to do that and then I want to when I see Brandon I want to compare our generation 5 pokedexes see who's doing better see who's got what and we'll see how everything's going um, you know Marco low-key I'm not gonna catch you because it's not that serious but yes just wanted to check in with you guys I got to go board my flight let's get this adventure started this should be a nice little start. We are hatching, I believe, eight seven kilometer eggs right now, so we could definitely get some fire from this. At the time I'm recording this, at the time you guys are watching this, I still have yet to hatch a shiny regional. We're actually hatching all of our eggs right now, which is great. So we're hatching nine eggs, eight seven kilometers, and one five kilometer, I believe. As you guys know, a lot of potential in these eggs. I want to go ahead and see after this how many eggs we've hatched this week and how many eggs we hatched. La well, I can't see how many eggs we hatched last week, but I know we hatched a lot last week. I know we've hatched a good amount this week, so we got to keep trying to make it happen. We only got a few days until the regionals are out of eggs, so we got to try and get them to, while we can. I will continue to hatch these until I get one. I don't care if it's Farfetch'd, Tauros, Kangaskhan, or Mr. Mime, anything, anything. I just want one of them, and I've hatched so many eggs, I feel like I deserve it at this point. Come on. We also do have two shiny checks afterwards, so I guess we got something else to look forward to after the eggs. Bro, please. What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? I've hatched so many eggs. Down to our last few here. Can we get some fire, ladies and gentlemen? Kangaskhan, not a shiny. I feel like I feel like it's coming. I feel I really do. I really do. And I said that last week. Um, I, technically, I can still feel it coming because I got a couple more days. Um, but I feel like I'm gonna get it. I don't know when. I feel like I will though. I don't know. Hopefully on this trip, I'd usually do really well when I travel. I have like weird shiny luck when I travel, so. That'd be dope. What the heck? Really? That was all nine already? Oh my gosh, that went by so fast. We got some shiny text going. Let's see if we can get some fire from this. I'll catch these guys in a second. And Rattata, not shiny either. All right, a little bit unfortunate. Make sure to let me know if you guys have got or hatched a shiny regional in Pokemon Go, as you can probably tell. And as I've said, I'm still struggling to get that done. Currently uploading yesterday's video and just arrived at the airport. And while the second I got my bag, turned around and I saw Tom Cruise. What's up? How you doing? Good, how you doing, dude? Um, that was a really random occurrence, but we're hanging out right now. We got a Pokedex Edition spawn right here. We got Pidove. Um, I've, I know, I know this is like a really common Pokemon from Generation 5, but I haven't had my camera when I've seen it, so now we can finally get it. Throw it in the Pokedex, of course. And then after this, I want to do something really cool as well. 10 CP. Eh. There's also been a lot of Barboach spawns. I don't know if this airport's like a nest or if they just spawn a lot in, in Montreal, but I'm down because I didn't get any when it came around the first time. I want to do a little evolution right now. We're gonna do a little spicy one literally a little fire evolution We're gonna evolve Tepic not all the way through because I don't want to rush that for, any, for no reason We're gonna evolve it to its second stage, which I don't remember the name of bada bing bada boom There it goes. That's actually a really cool Pokemon. I really do like how Tepic's family looks Let's go ahead and throw it in the Pokedex right there. Nice. Make sure to let me know if you guys got that in the comments Pignite that's what it's called. Okay, 1087. This is the one we hatched in uh, the last video. Pretty good pretty good IVs, honestly. 15, 15, 10 is not bad. It's third stage, looks like a freaking monster. That is gonna be that for now. We don't have anything to claim, but I think we're gonna upload this video and then head home, or head to the hotel, and then we'll see where the day takes us. Good evening. Good morning, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. We to our palace. Have arrived in Canada. Yeah, we're in a palace right now, you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you the name of the hotel, but uh, <laughs> look at look at this room, bro. Look at this room. Look at Brandon. See how Hi. see how small he looks in this room. More importantly, we have a low in eggs hatching right now. I believe we have eight seven kilometer eggs hatching right now. Still have not hatched a shiny regional. 
How many times are we gonna have ching Chingling? Oh my gosh, okay, we gotta smooch him right there. If I get one Tyrogue, I'm ending this video, however far we are. Like, I, just Tyrogue is, is literally my least favorite Pokemon at the moment. We gotta get ourselves a shiny regional, make it happen. Vulpix could have been shiny. We have hatched so many gosh darn eggs in the past couple of days, in the past couple of weeks, and still no freaking nice. Oh, oh, there he goes. And. Farfetch'd. Next Alolan egg. It's another Smoochum. We're pretty much already halfway through and we really have not gotten much from these eggs. I'm actually low key, high key giving up on Alolan eggs. Uh, I, I, you, you have no idea how many I've hatched. It's not even funny. Hey, there's an Electric right here too. I'm gonna, I gotta check that. I'm definitely gonna check that after this Alolan egg, which is an Elekid. Come on, man. We've been hatching way too many eggs. We gotta get that egg luck up. El oh. Electric, 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 Electric. Not a shiny, I gotta get that shiny. I've actually seen an, a weird amount in the, in the wild, and I'd love to get that shiny. Let's see if we can make it happen. I think this might be our last egg right here. Unfortunately, it's a Togepi. While we're here, while we're here, let's see how many eggs we've hatched this week. Okay, so so far we've hatched 44 eggs. Granted, it's Thursday, so that's 11 eggs a day on average. That sucks. Well, I not really, I can't, I can't complain. It's, I just want a shiny, that's all, that's all. All right, right now we're heading to La, um, all right, right now we are at La Banquise, I believe it's pronounced, <laughs> I'm honestly not too sure, but it's gonna be pretty fire with the squad today, so this gonna be a good time. Oh, that's a Wow, <laughs> got him. Okay, that was a lot of food. Um, I had a good time. What, what is that called? Poutine. Poutine was phenomenal. We just came back from dinner and we got four two kilometer eggs to hash right now. These do include some new generation five Pokemon, so that'd be dope if we can get some fire from them. Lillipop hatch right there, not a shiny, but I'll take it. See if we can get a good one. 498, that sounds like a good number. It honestly does. Never mind. Next two kilometer egg, Pidov. Pidov. That's only our third one ever, so I will take it. 473 IVs on it. Wow, 93. Next egg's gonna be Meditite. Okay, we're getting away from the Generation 5 right here. I'm not even gonna check IVs on that guy. Let me click that Zubat really quick before it goes away. Not a shiny. Okay, we also have been kind of shiny hunting. This is the night before Safari Zone, so we're kind of trying to bring in the luck right now. There's a good amount of shiny eligible spawns throughout the city, but Chimchar from the egg, uh, but no shinies as of yet. Chimchar, 523, that's actually not, ah, uh, not great. It's gonna be it for now. We do have one, two tasks to claim. I don't even remember what they are. This one is going to be execute. Sorry, I opened that on camera. Sorry for wasting your time. The next one is going to be a <laughs> swine up. All right, so today's video was a little bit of a short one, but while editing today's video, I did notice that we hashed a lot of eggs. And as you guys might have noticed in the other videos as well, we've hashed a lot of eggs over the last couple of, last couple of weeks, really. And for from those eggs, we really haven't hatched much. So, this video got me thinking about eggs and the state that they're in in Pokemon Go. And coincidentally, I opened my Twitter and Leak Duck releases something that's gonna be very beneficial and that really got me thinking. But before we get into this, I'm Brandon, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. All right, so I got a couple questions for you, ready? Yes. Hey. How many Pokemon do you think are in the two kilometer egg pool? I'm gonna say like 10. Really? Yeah. 37. <laughs> Are you serious? There's 37? There's 37, bro. Oh. How many Pokemon do you think are in the five kilometer egg pool? As of right now in Pokemon Go. So, okay, the scary thing is that like, there's usually more in the 5Ks than the 2Ks. Yeah. Uh, if there's 37 in the 2K, 5Ks is what, 40? 59. <laughs> 50, That's half generation. 59. Why? Pokemon in the Generation 5 Egg Pool. How many Pokemon in the 7 kilometers? What, regionals plus uh, babies? Maybe like 15? 27. Oh, jeez, still. That's kind still of a lot. Oh, well, You know? Yeah, huh. And then for the 10 kilometers? 5. 27. <laughs> okay. So, 27 in the yeah. Days? Dude, 59 in the 5 kilometers. That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous and the fact that I was thinking about this during the video and the fact that I've kind of been thinking about the egg pool during the week and then this coincidence coincidentally pops up on my Twitter I'm like wow that is a big 
big problem. With an egg pool like this, it makes it so freaking difficult to hatch the Pokemon you're trying to hatch, whether it's a Generation 5 Pokemon or Ryolu or a certain shiny, like a shiny region or whatever. The reason why it's been so hard for maybe you or me to hatch your favorite Pokemon, to hatch a rare Pokemon, to hatch a shiny Pokemon, is because the egg pool right now on Pokemon Go is ridiculous. I mean, 37 and two kilometer eggs, just a huge pool. 59 in, in, in five kilometers, you you literally, like, in the and the, uh, the odds aren't even. Like, it's not a one in 59 chance to hatch your your uh, your favorite Pokemon or your, your specified Pokemon. It depends on the Pokemon's rarity in that egg pool, making it even harder to actually get the Pokemon you're looking for. So, if you haven't hatched something you've wanted to hatch, or if you haven't hatched a shiny in a while, this is why. We need a little bit of a cleanup. We need a lot of bit of a cleanup. So let's go ahead and talk about the Pokemon that are in the egg pools and we'll do a quick little uh, quick little briefing on that. Here's the two kilometer egg pool, the current hatches that are available right now. Granted, a lot of these, and I think almost all of these, literally all of these almost can be shiny. I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm struggling to find some that can be shiny, obviously not including the last couple of ones, but there's still a lot of Pokemon in there and I definitely see some that I think don't belong, especially because I feel like most of these spawn in the wild a good amount already, so definitely needs a clean up. Let's go ahead and look at the five kilometer egg pools. There's 59 Pokemon in here if you want to sit down and count it out. Um, I mean, it definitely needs a, a clean up. There's a lot of Pokemon in here that it, Right off the bat, I'm like, that doesn't need to be there. Growlithe, Ponyta, uh, Psyduck. Come on, like, come on. some of these Pokemon just definitely don't need to be in the pool. And we need, there needs to be a cleanup very, very soon here. Granted, we're in, the, we're in the middle of an event right now, but still, take out some of these event Pokemon, and the number is large. In the seven kilometers, it's honestly not that bad. The seven kilometers and the 10 kilometers both have the same amount, which is 27. But still, I feel like it could use a little bit of a cleanup, maybe like a handful of Pokemon um, to take out of them. Because in the seven kilometers, I know they were originally were Alolan eggs, let's be honest. There's more non-Alolans in the seven kilometer eggs than Alolans, so I don't think they need to keep that narrative or keep that theme with the uh, with the seven kilometer eggs. So if they could clean that up a little bit, that'd be nice as well. And the 10 kilometers, it's hard to clean this one up. I don't see much because a lot of that is rare and that's the point of it, but maybe Pokemon like, I don't know, like Slackoth, Maybe Changling can move to two kilometers. It's like, I don't I don't think anyone really is like hoping for a penny at this point. But yes, I'm sure some of you guys may be mind blown by this information. I know I definitely was. When I just when I just sat here and counted how many Pokemon are in the egg pools, I literally was like, wow. And I didn't, that wasn't scripted with Brandon. That was his genuine reaction. <laughs> it's a lot of Pokemon in the egg pool. And this is the reason why you can't hatch your favorite Pokemon, why it's super tough for you to hatch your shiny Pokemon is because the chances of getting it are so not in your favor. So not a not a rant video, just an observation and I feel like this definitely needs to be discussed. Let me know in the comments down below the last time you guys hatched something good or something you wanted, AKA a Ryolu or a Dino or a Gibble or whatever. Um, I've actually never hatched a Gibble. However many eggs I've ever hatched, I've never hatched a Gibble. Um, I've hatched two Ryolus ever, so again, it's, it's a it's a tough egg pool. It's tough to work with, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. While you guys are watching this, I'm out in Pokemon Go. I'm out in Montreal. I'm in Montreal, but I'm going to be out in Montreal doing the Safari Zone, so that video will be alive tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. It'll be a dope one. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll see your faces later. Deuces.